Let's get started pouring in our sourdough starter and our beer that we've weighed out. All the ingredients have been mixed. Now it's time for the kneading. I want to show you this technique. It's a slap and fold. So slap, fold, twist. That twist creates that torque on the dough which creates a little bit more strength. So next we're going to be finishing up this session until we get good gluten development. So it's going to look and feel a little stretchy. Alright, so now let's let's uh, check the dough. These are the folding sessions after the dough has finished resting for about 20-30 minutes. We're going to do our first session of folds. The dough is super tacky at this point, which is why I added a little bit of extra flour. Uh, typically I want a little bit less wetness to the dough and well we can always adjust with a little bit of flour or if it's too dry a little bit of water so here you see that bench knife it just smears off way too wet for my preference but if you like working with super hydrated doughs uh, it's not a problem for you if vice versa, then don't make it so wet. Add a little bit less water to your mix. So last fold. We're going to just kind of tuck in those corners. Make it nice and pretty. And we're done. Alright, second fold. It's rested for another 20 minutes. It's a little tacky, but not too bad. So this time I'm just going to use a little bit of water. It's kind of like when you're making cookie dough. A little bit of water helps lubricate the hand and keeps it from sticking, but you got to work fast. So you see my hands are definite and moving quick. So here we go, our folding. And now we're going to do a little bit of a slap and fold to just bring in those corners, building up some strength and giving us just, again, awesome texture for that final thin crust pizza. Now, you could do quarter turns. Again, it really depends on your preference. There's not one way to knead or mix or fold. I'm just going to show you a different technique here where you just grab a corner and you do a fold, quarter turn, grab a corner, fold, another quarter turn, and you do this until really the dough starts to give you pushback meaning if you keep going it's gonna to start to feel really firm or even start to crack at that point you just gotta stop so here the dough is firming up a bit so we're just gonna finish it off around the corners and we're done alright so lastly we've had three stretch and folds and now it's time to separate from the bowl and start to form our pizza crust. So this one rose for about nine hours since this morning when we first added the cold beer to our ingredients. So here this dough is super soft, super elastic, very mellow, not fighting us at all. You see how much it just stretches with minimal handling. That's what we want in a nice thin crust pizza. So while that relaxes, we're going to go to the backyard here and look for a bell pepper. This is an Italian variety that has a nice long pointy body. And it just tastes like a regular bell pepper, nice and sweet. Slightly spicy if you let it go to red to full maturity. But we're picking it green. Alright, so now it's time to transfer. My dough did stick to the bench. I did not flour it, and it took way too long for me to get back to it with the garden adventures and kid adventures. So that's okay. You just kind of scrape it and do the best you can. We're going to spread it out on some parchment paper because this large of a pizza has a tendency to stick, and that's going to make transferring into your oven quite a nightmare, and it's a... It's a large pizza. This is a 20 by 16 piece of parchment paper. So we're going to use my pan here as a pizza peel slash transfer 
pan to the oven. In fact, I'm just going to keep it on this pan because I don't have a baking stone that large yet. So we're going to just fold over these edges because, well, it's a little bit too large. Best to probably have cut this dough in half and made two smaller pizzas, but yeah. it is what it is. At this point, you just kind of got to do the best you can and move on. So we're going to pat our crust that we're forming here. And at this point, you're done. I mean, you've made your pizza, and now we're just going to have some family fun. Now we're just trying to even the toppings out on the pizza. And my sister is really liking the topping. Her name is Julia. My name's Aaron. My dad's name is Noah. We are patting it out. Okay. Well, Daddy. will get brown and you won't be able to see the yummy toppings, but it'll be fine. It's, it doesn't change the taste, so it'll still be the same taste. <coughs> yeah, so we have our salami and we're trying to even it out. Um, hey, I want one more so yummy! yummy. It's almost done, Aaron. Look, the cheese is bubbling. Mm -hmm. And we're getting some good coloration on the crust and on the cheese. Yep. Okay, this is all pizza that we were making with the toppings. Hot out the oven. So excited. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video and it's been helpful, please like and subscribe. And have an awesome day. Enjoy. Bon appetit.